Hello everybody, how's it going? So today I just want to give you guys some basic info about the Orbiter Finance airdrop and how to actually qualify. So let's just get straight into it. So Orbiter Finance, as you guys might know, is a bridge, but just recently they did announce that they're actually also going to be a ZK roll-up on Ethereum, so an L2, right? Now, this is really interesting for a couple of reasons, but the main reason really is that most dApps, when they get airdropped, they typically don't have like 500 million market cap. Like when Manta just um, airdropped, they're riding at like, I think like roughly almost a billion market cap right now. Whereas like dApps never get that high. So like this makes me a lot more bullish on the Orbiter Finance ecosystem hundred percent without a doubt and here's their main application right here as you can see it's just a bridge from all the evm chains all of the l2 virtually all of the l2s it's super easy uh all you want to do is you want to accumulate these o points right and the way you actually get these o points is here let me show you exactly how so you basically just get it from bridging right and if you bridge from Ethereum to any other network, that's going to get you the most points, but you're going to spend the most fees, right? So it's not it's not that optimal. So what I personally do is I initially bridge all my funds over to some L2, like ZK Sync or Arbitrum or Optimism, and then I keep going from say ZK Sync Era or ZK Sync Lite or whatever to Base or Scroll, and that'll give me five points every time. So you can keep going back and forth, and I think the fee is roughly about like a dollar and twenty cents each time. And what you can also do here is, uh, well, these quests are still active until February twelfth. I've already done them, but all you gotta do is bridge any amount of ETH over to Manta and back, over back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and you'll get these free points. I believe you have to do three transactions at the top at the yeah yeah three so you'll do six total bridging there and then bridging back any amount i know this has closed now but the layer 2-20 the first omni inscription they have has fully minted so you will not be able to do that anytime soon as you can see because it is fully minted but what they also have here is every three transactions you actually get to open this little like crate kind of thing and it'll give you um, more, what's it called? It'll give you more orbiter points. So if I were y'all, I would just try to um, do this every now and then, at least like here and there, just try to generate some volume. If there's ever, ever like some quest or way where you could uh, get more points for say cheaper fees, or just more points in general cheaper than I would do it if I were you and as you just saw right there that's how easy it actually is to make a transaction on orbiter it's super quick and it saves you a lot of time because a lot of these native bridges it takes maybe like I know for Arbitrum I think it takes like 15 minutes to get there and if you want to bridge out it'll take you a week to get funds no one has a week bro this is crypto like that's outrageous no one's got a week no one's doing that so just keep transacting on orbiter um make sure you don't lose too much in fees i've used orbiter forever now as you could see since 20 since november of 2022 so hopefully they airdrop to people that are like have been using it for a while but who knows i've already spent probably a thousand dollars on fees on orbiter but that's all right. But that's really it for today's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.